Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make another dress. The first dress I made, I will link it right here. You can see it right there if you are interested. And for today's dress, I will make a pop sleeve smoked dress. So without further ado, let's get started. For this project, I'm going to use this 3 meter cotton fabric that my friend gave it to me. First step, I'm going to measure how long you want your dress to be. For me, it's from my upper bust to my knees. And measure half size of your bust measurement and add at least 25 cm for the gathered effect. From the width line, I mark 10 cm and from the length line, I mark 5 cm. Then connect the two marks together. Do the same thing for the other side. And cut the drawing line and it should be look like this. Cut the pieces and fold so we have two pieces. One for the front and one for the back. Next, we're going to hem the row edges of the top of the main body by folding it twice, pin and sew it with stretch stitch. After sewing, grab it at the right side and draw a horizontal line at 20 cm down from the top. It's the width from your upper to under the breast and add 5 cm. Then I draw some guideline in chalk 1 cm between each line to make the shearing. For shearing, you need to wind the bobbin with the elastic thread. You have to load it by hands and be really careful not to stretch the elastic as you load it. And I'm going to loosen a little bit the screw of my bobbin tension. Then insert the bobbin into the machine. Now we can start sewing using stretch stitch. You should already start to see the gathers forming. Make sure to tie a knot between your thread and elastic. Continue sewing until your desired length of your smoked effect. It should be look like this. I did the same thing for the second one. Moving from the pop sleeve, I made two rectangles with the 60 cm width, which is four times the width from the shoulder to the armpit. And the length of the rectangle is 60 cm, which is the length from the shoulder to the wrist. At the length line, I marked 11 cm which is 1 cm longer than the main body. And at the width line, I marked 4 cm which is 1 cm shorter than the main body. Then connect the two marks and do the same thing for the other side. They will be the connected area with the main body later.
Next, we're going to tighten up again the screw of the bobbin tension and change the elastic thread into the normal thread. After that, I'm overlocking to protect the fabric. Next, I drew a horizontal line 4 cm under the top and fold the fabric to that line, pin and sew it with stretch stitch. I cut an elastic band with around 2 times the width from the shoulder to upper the breast. Then feed the elastic band through the fabric hole we made earlier using safety pin. Moving to the bottom of the hand, I draw a horizontal line at 10 cm. Then I cut a small rectangle earlier. I measure it 3 cm width and 60 cm length, which is the same length of the hand. Put the rectangle into the line I drew before, pin and sew it the two sides of the rectangle to create the fabric hole. I use an elastic band with the length of the wrist and I add 4 cm. Then fit the elastic band through the fabric hole we made earlier using safety pin. Then sew the two sides of the elastic to the fabric. Now connect the main bodies and two hands of the dress together, pin and sew them with stretch stitch. After that, connect the two sides of the hands and two sides of the main body together. At the end of the sleeves, I'm going to hem the row edges by folding it twice, pin and sew it with stretch stitch. Do the same thing for the second sleeve.
Lastly, we're going to hem the row edges of the bottom of the dress by folding it twice, pin and sew it again with stretch stitch. And I'm finished. And here's the finished product.